Questions? Hey, Fresh, is, uh, what's your thoughts when you got named uh, Fresh, I mean, a player of the week for the American Conference? Um, actually, I had no idea. Um, hey, Precious, did you know you were the player of the week? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I can feel you just told me since I walked in. Um, I haven't had my phone in a while. I just came out of class and I came right here. So I would check my phone. So how you feeling about it? What do you think? I don't know. I don't even know how to react. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I feel about going back home. Man, I can't wait. I need to. Um, I got to go try some real pizza. It's been a while. Yeah, what do you have? Have your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your place? Do you have a place there? Yeah, it's a spot that is right by my house. It's called Reginald's. It's called Reginald's Pizza. Yeah. Um, I usually get um, chicken bacon ranch or chicken a la vodka from, from that spot. It's really good. It's really well, good. I mean, I'm sorry, what part of Queens are you from? Fresh Meadows. So that's the thing that you're excited to take your teammates to get some real pizza yeah, when you get up there. I've been telling the guys all year round, I'm like, man, you guys got to try some real pizza, man. <laughs> you know, just being out here is just, it's not real. You know, I actually, I actually haven't had pizza since I've been out here just because I just don't like think it's going to be as good. <laughs> so I'm going to just wait. I want to I wanna just wait so it's going to be amazing when, when I get back. With uh, Lester being out in his memory, will you be rolling your shorts up so, uh, since he's not playing? Um, you know what? <laughs> That's an idea. I'm going to have to talk to Lester and see if he's going to allow me to do it. I'll probably do it for a couple of games. Is he trade market or something? Is he trade market or something? Um, I don't know, I guess. Um, That's his style. He actually just started doing that. I asked him the other day, I'm like, bro, you know, I played with you for for a really long time, I've never seen you do this. He, was, you know, he told me the story about how he was at IMG in practice, and then it all started. But I'm like, okay. Was it rough for him not to be able to play? Going back yeah, on? actually, I think I feel very, very bad for Lester. He hurts me a lot because this is a game that we we both talked about, you know, prior before prior coming to Memphis, you know, or like when we first got out here, talked about this game. A lot, a lot. Just going back home, playing a ball player's big stage, and our family's been out there, and just being able to play in front of people that we play, always played the game growing up, and him not being able to play literally a game before, it's, just, it's crazy how things happen and how things work. It's just, I really feel bad for Lester, and it hurts me a lot because he's like my brother, and I wouldn't wish that for anyone. As a team, how do you make up for it? Um, this is going to be the first practice back without Lester playing or practicing, so we just have to encourage guys to pick up what Lester does and just you don't have to make up for him not being around and not for him not being able to play. What is it that Lester really does for the team when he's out there? Um, Lester is a guy that spaces out the floor, especially for guys like myself, DJ, Damian Ball. Um, he creates shots, so also, also just because of his playmaking ability. And being able to get to the free throw line and just rebound the ball. That's something people, you know, overlook sometimes about Lester. He actually rebounds the ball at a really, really high level. And he could guard, you know, when he puts his mind to it. So he brings a lot to the table. And just him not being able to play out there, he's really, really tough. Very, very tough. Like, really, it's crazy how tough Lester is. Um, but I was actually, yesterday, um, we were hanging out. So I was telling him, I'm like, bro. I'm not gonna lie. If I were you, I'd probably just beast it, just, just play with my broken hand. <laughs> and what was we, his reaction? No, we just laughed about it because <laughs> I was so sad that he wasn't gonna play. I, I really, really am sad that he's not playing because I, I was looking forward to playing with him back at home. You know, we always played at home growing up. This is gonna be, you know, maybe one last time. Who knows? So I was really looking forward to us playing together back at home, but. So I just I sat there and we both laughed. And that was so are you gonna beast in his honor? Are you gonna beast in his no, honor? No, no, I know, beast. I know, I know. Play with the broken hand. Yeah, I'm gonna. Have, um, gonna have to play ball on the Yeah, we will. I'm gonna have to um, go out and play my game and play play Lester's game. <laughs> How do you all react to going in arenas and your coach gets applause and he's uh, well known like that? Oh, um, I mean. I, I don't know. That's something we can't really control. He's a legend, you know, in the game of basketball. Just things he's done, things he's doing. And 
for me at this point is old. I remember I came on my visit, my first, my unofficial, my first unofficial visit. Um, I went out with Coach Penny. We were walking on the street, and man, I was like, "What's going on?" You know, <laughs> like this dude. I can't even have a conversation. Actually, it was on campus. You know, last year when we first got the job, I came on the unofficial. We were walking on campus, and it was like every thirty seconds somebody stopped in the actual picture. I'm like, "Yo, man, like, do you even go pub go to public places? Like, how do you do it?" It was crazy to me just being around him, just seeing how people stop him every. Two, two, two or three seconds, it was crazy, but at this point, I'm kind of used to that, just seeing how, you know, he carries himself and how people treat him around the city and wherever he goes, so it, it's What's nothing the, new to me. Was the pressures we saw Saturday, what we should explore, what people used to see, what, is that your game? What yes, game? absolutely, that's my game. Um, like I said, it's, it's, the season is still early, you know, we've only played five games prior to Saturday, so... A lot of things are going around about the team and the way we've been playing, but you gotta you gotta understand what a lot there's a lot of freshmen on the team and sophomores and like, we're still trying to figure out this college basketball, the style, the pace and everything. But I think we get to a point where we start to job better as a team, you know, play together and understanding the game and obviously trusting what the coaching staff are telling us and how to become successful. Got time for one more. How one more much question. fun do you have playing with DJ Jefferson? Like, what kind of teammate is he? Man, DJ reminds me of, I don't know, it's, it's so weird to explain it. Just DJ is like, I have so much fun watching DJ play. It's, it's just like I'm watching myself play, you know? You know, it's like the things I can't do, he could do it. It's just, it's amazing. Just he could, he's athletic, he gets to the basket, he could do a whole bunch of different things. And it's just amazing just knowing there's someone out there that could hold it down, you know, when things are not going your way, you know, someone that could just carry the whole team. Obviously, DJ's not the only one that could fit on the team. We've seen guys carry the team, you know, over last, the past couple of games. Last question, please. That's something that needs to be asked. Uh, you missed, speaking of adversity, you missed two free throws, and then you had the best game of your yeah. career. Did, did, did that, did you get fired up after that? Yeah, you know, you know, when I got to the free throw line, I looked up, saw a whole bunch of people, I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was a little nervous. I might even go a lot. I looked up. It's probably my first time playing in an atmosphere like that. You know, it's just so loud. You know, a whole bunch of people just. It was a rivalry game, you know. Big game for City of Memphis, obviously Ole Miss. And after that, I was like, you know, I can't be down on myself. I, my team needs me. You know, everybody needs me to play. So that kind of pushed me to play the way I played. All right, thank you. <laughs>